Greetings, groovy people. This is the Blue Dragon. Welcome to the channel. Obligatory warning, my channel targets an adult audience, and my main project, Dark Horse, is a free, not safe for work webcomic, so it's not for kids. And you can locate it at any of the links down in the description. But today you'll notice that I am not working on a Dark Horse page, and neither am I showing you how to get your US copyright. Between working on several pages of Dark Horse Act 4 of the revamp and having some ink fiasco, which I'll get into in another video, I've been having all kinds of issues with QuickTime and with ink. Everything seems to be sabotaging my progress and catching up, which I'm not going to get into all of the, the issues that I've been having, but I was able to complete all the recording necessary for getting my copyright, and I was about halfway through it today, this is Wednesday that I am recording this, the day that it's due, but I had to create my own GIF from a website that wasn't working for me. I downloaded the GIF, but for some reason it wasn't doing the animation, so I had to create the animation myself using what they had because I didn't have time to make my own animation. You'll see what I'm talking about when I get the video done. It was a brain. Because <laughs> I'm trying to make these videos a little more entertaining and up the ante a little bit on my editing skills. You know, trying to do that to the best of my ability. But at about 12 noon today, when that rolled around, I still had over 20 minutes worth of video to edit. The whole thing, like, with raw footage was over an hour, so trying to whittle that down to 20 minutes or thereabouts, you know, I don't mind if I go a little bit over, but I realized that I hadn't even gotten the video cut down to the length I wanted it yet, and that's not even including all of the graphics and editing and things that I wanted to do to try to make it entertaining. So I decided to cut my losses and just quickly do another regular video like last week. But I'm going to get a little, a little bit personal in this video and I don't generally like to do that because people don't give a shit about my personal life. I understand that fully. But I do feel obligated to try to give somewhat of an explanation as to why it takes me so long to build up my buffers. Because some of you who have been here and watching from the very beginning or have gone through all my videos, you probably, or maybe, if I'm being arrogant, maybe you don't remember, but I, I had mentioned in my videos that my partner had encouraged me to quit my full-time job so that I could start focusing solely on my comics and these videos. TMI, but I, I cook just about all of our meals from scratch. Aside from we do go out to eat on Fridays trying to help the local businesses and also because it's, you know, a nice thing for us to be able to go out to eat one day a week. But when I talk about cooking, I do, and he does help me, we cook everything just about from scratch. That includes bread, rolls, buns. I make my own hamburger buns. I make my own hot dog buns a lot of times. I will get them at Winco sometimes because they're on sale, but we... We do this not only as part of like my personal diet, but also it's really, it saves you so much money and we are fairly frugal. I mean, I won't say that we don't waste money occasionally, but we are fairly frugal. So we do everything from scratch to save money, to reduce our packaging waste. And the catch to that is that although my partner helps and he's a great cook, let me tell you, he is a fantastic cook. But I tend to do most of it just because my diet is a little pickier than his diet. So this obviously takes a lot of weekly planning and prepping and cooking. That, and we also walk to the grocers quite often to give ourselves some exercise so we're not completely sedentary. <laughs> and to also help reduce our carbon footprint. So there's a lot of reasons why we do this, but... Why am I boring you with all this stupid information that none of you care about? And believe me, I'm aware that you do not care about this. The point is, though, that in spite of the comics and the art being my full-time job, I have fallen fairly behind in both taking care of the household and working on, you know, my buffer. So when I visited my family, which was a necessity, and I do not at all regret it, I'm not putting this on them at all. I needed to see them. We had an extremely important business that I don't want to talk about. But as a result of this, that buffer dwindled. 
and trying to catch up on just your normal everyday life and getting back into the swing of things, you know, I'm back into the process of catching up. But I'm asking you all and thanking you very much for your patience as I do get back on track. It's probably going to take me the entire month of October to really get caught up, but I'm almost done with Act 4. I have a couple pages more to Spring Tone, and once I do that, I'm going to take a break. It'll still be uploading on top of us, so you guys watching over there, you're not really going to notice anything, but you on Webtoons, if anyone's here from Webtoons, I'm going to take another break. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be as long as my May to August break, but I'm going to take another break so that I can catch up on my Comic Fury art because they're my audience that has been with me the longest and I have really not been fair to them not getting Act 7 up and running like I should. So the, the, the long and the short of it is I'm giving you information, personal information and background so that you have a little bit more of a window into why it's taking me so long. Like I'm sure some of you are thinking she has no excuse, she has no job. Like <laughs> her shit done. Maybe you're not. I'm not. Okay, m m some people, maybe not you guys, but maybe I'm more explaining and doing this for myself, I guess, is probably more like it. So sorry about giving you so much detail about my personal life, but um... I'm not asking for sympathy or anything. I'm not, like, playing the world's tiniest fiddle here either. I just felt the need to go into a bit more detail and explaining what's going on. Now that I've put the audience to sleep, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Let's talk a little bit about the picture in the background. The Whimper in the Dark is my free webcomic that focuses on fictitious stories with our dogs Jack the Dog. <laughs> And Julius Cesar Malcolm, guess which dog I named? <laughs> yes, it would be Julius. This comic is on Comic Fury. In the background, I'm working on something that, you know, if you go to the Comic Fury website, they have a, a lot of collaborative projects in the community trade section. So someone who's been on the forum for years and is I, I, apparently a school teacher, I did not realize that, they were putting together a bunch of safe for work images for a cute little Halloween zine that they were going to be giving to their students, you know, as a word of Wednesday and consolation, as consolation for the kitties not being able to go trick or treating this year. Which I thought was a fantastic idea. I realized that kids are going to be totally bummed. You know, because I used to love trick-or-treating. I mean, it would be raining and snowing at the same time. And we had the <laughs> we had the old white van. And, like, my parents brought, like, three extra pairs of socks each for myself and my sister. And they would throw the wet socks <laughs> onto the air vents. This is what poor people do, you guys, at Halloween. And, like, every other kid would, like, be in for the night because it's raining and snowing. And I'm <laughs> just kidding. But, like, my parents... <laughs> It was like a gulag. It was like, you kids are getting that fucking candy. And we wanted that fucking candy, but we never ate all the candy. We got all the extra candy because all the kids would go in for the night. And, like, we were like, yeah, we're getting it all. So, like, yeah, we were hardcore when it came to Halloween. But I understand how bummed that the kids are going to be this year. So I thought this was a really cool idea. And if there are any parents out there in the audience, I mean, I'm not telling you what to do, but this could be like kind of a cool stay at home party with your kids where you draw and color, make Halloween decorations, maybe watch Halloween specials or, you know, hide candy around the house. I'm just throwing ideas out there. But this activity book thing was such a cute idea that this person put together for their class. So, super cute. I, I thought it was a great idea and I wanted to contribute. I went ahead and created this image in the background so that I could contribute to that. We're actually getting ready for Halloween with Wind. That's Whimper in the Dark, I call it Wind. Where I'm going to have a short Halloween arc featuring Jack and Julius. I need to thumbnail it still, but I'm really pumped to finally have another arc post this year. So the image in the background was my submission, only I, I removed electronically in Photoshop. I took Trick or Treat out so as not to remind the kids of what they are missing out on. But that image that I'm working on in the background is going to be the name of the arc and is the cover page for the October arc.
A few months ago, I had watched a Casey Golden video where she was using some silly multicolor giant crayon and her pieces ended up being really freaking awesome by, by the end of it. I, I was impressed by what she'd done. But what really caught my eye and inspired me, what I thought about firsthand whenever I started doing this image, was the way she had inked those pictures that she was going to color with this massive crayon. <laughs> I just loved her techniques. Now you could tell that she's probably got an actual education. <laughs> A college education in illustration which I did not get so I like to learn from others and I took what she did and applied it to my own comic here I highly recommend her videos if you're looking to learn more sometimes it's entertainment but even if you're just trying to be entertained you can learn new techniques from others so I'm gonna link the video that I'm referring to in the upper right hand corner in the iCard and I definitely highly suggest you check her videos out you guys I, I like her videos I don't watch them every day or every Every time she puts them out but whenever I get a chance I'll catch up on them and I and I like to watch her work. I always like to have one element of color in these pictures so the full moon gets the focus this time. I'm pretty darn happy with this image all in all. I put hours of work into this drawing. This was before the trip and I think that the the time and care paid off. I'm actually really happy with it. You know a lot of times I'm bitching about how things turned out but this one I'm happy with. Hey positivity. I do hope you guys all like it. That's all for this week. I am truly sorry for not having the copyright video done, you guys. I, I seriously, seriously thought I would be able to get it done, but with all the extra pages all on me, I, I should have had the Webtoons site better planned. I should have started like a week or two later, but that that's my fault. I didn't want to make them wait any longer either because I do have a couple readers over there. So I do, I hope you accept my apologies. I hope you understand and it should hopefully be done next week because as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to work on my Comic Fury page and then I'll have, this is Wednesday, so I'll have the rest of the week and weekend to work on the video and start finishing up things for next week. So hopefully I'm gonna be able to catch up this weekend or next. So October's gonna be very fruitful. It's gonna be very fruitful. It's gonna be very gourdful. That's what I should say because of pumpkins. Anyway, <laughs> it's not it's not Halloween yet. Oh. Question of the week. Are you participating in any indoor stay-at-home Halloween events or celebrations? you know, with anyone that you live with. I think we may read or listen to scary stories online. I'm gonna put a, an iCard up to a channel that I watched a couple years ago. I like to listen to people read short stories or I'll read them aloud myself because it's like the Victorian era in our house. <laughs> All we need now are the candles and oil lamps. But I like to listen to, to people read things on YouTube, so yeah, one year it was Lovecraft, another year it was Poe Stories. I'm not really sure what we're going to do this year, but we don't really go out for parties anymore these days. Yeah, we may carve a pumpkin and watch a movie or eat, eat fresh baked pumpkin seeds if we do that every time. I like to bake pumpkin seeds with like teriyaki and some other um, mixtures that I just throw it on the pan and bake it. Julius, by the way, who is the Boston Terrier, he is a fool for raw pumpkin. That dog has really weird taste. He is like a vacuum, but like if I'm carving a pumpkin, he is like under feet so that he can eat the raw pumpkin if it falls down because he loves it. And I like to give it to him as a treat because why not, you know, he, he likes his veggies. But thanks for watching. <laughs> Peace and love, fare you well, and keep on trucking.